Welcome. Whew. Okay. So, we're going to do a collective read. But this is going to be how the karmic views the divine feminine. All right. So, yes, we're going to say up, of course. Do it. We're gonna start off with these. I'm gonna start off with the wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards. We're just gonna grasp a little bit of energy from here and then we'll move forward. Okay, so we want to know how does the karmic feel about the divine feminine? Her energy is showing up strong already. Um, I feel like she is very chaotic. I saw obedience to this queen of fire came up twice when I split the deck. Um, and the first side, the other side was obedience and then this side is chaos. Okay, so she's coming to wreck havoc. Hunter just has to cause some confusion. There she goes again. Okay, then we got complicated. Yeah, so she's coming to complicate things and make things tough. She's coming to make things tough now. There she go again. We got the high priestess of spirit. All right, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see. How does this karmic feel about the vibe coming in? High priestess of air. This currently thinks that you are very rigid, like you're tough, okay? It's not as easy as she thought it was going to be. So that's possibly why complicated show, because she feels like it's more complicated than she thought that it was going to be to try to, you know, frazzle you to get you out of your character, She's been playing alone, but she said she had to remind you. That's complicated again. She came, She said she come to remind you. Remind of what? How does this current feel about divine feminine? What else? I told you, Reggie, it came right back out. And see... We got love and the fledging and belonging. She said the masculine belongs to her. Okay. She says the masculine is home with her. When you wishing that he was could be with you. Mm -hmm. That's what to say. You got a masculine right here. Could be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. We got a high priestess of earth. And she said, yeah, you wish. You wishing. You over there wishing that he'll be home with you tonight. But he's with me. He's he's, he's with me, okay? So she said, look, I know you upset. I know you a little rigid. And then look at the black bird. We know that black bird, a lot of times, this is an omen. And I'm hearing a siren in the background. Okay, so what else? Success. Yeah, she's very focused, okay? She has a goal in mind, and the goal is this frequent bill fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. She's extremely uh, focused. Her focus is to get masculine, get you off of masculine's mind. Like, she's trying to make you invisible. Like, he's, she don't even want him to think about you at all. She's trying to understand why you're so confident. How, where are you getting this confidence from? Like you got a warrior spirit. Hmm. 
She got a whole plan in mind. She got a whole plan in mind. She feels like she can accomplish this goal. And the goal is to get to take your spot. Like, when it comes to the masculine, masculine may be bringing you up or she has heard about you in masculine's relationship or how masculine treated you, whatever, whatever. Her goal is to get masculine to forget about you. Her goal is to get masculine to give her that same energy. Okay, but what she don't understand is y'all two different people. So the energy is going to be different. That's what she's not understanding that. It's a different vibe. It's a different vibe, okay? I don't like when people try to match somebody else. Like, your vibe is supposed to be different. That's the reason that they're seeking elsewhere. Okay, so anyway, let's see what else. Tell me what else. What else does this person, does this karmic feel about um, the vibe in them? We got strength, okay. So she feels like you're very courageous. You got this inner strength about yourself. I knew that I felt that. Like she felt like you're very, um, it was a lot tougher than she expected. Or she could be a Leo. Because the strength is Leo's energy. We got obedience chaos fragment yes she come to i'm telling you she come to wreak havoc she is very she has a very disturbing a very disturbing energy a very chaotic energy like i'm i'm getting energy i'll tell all this shit up that type of energy she wants some type of straightening look at this this sword that this lady she come to get some type of clarity she want to set some type of record straight I'm also getting this is like the justice card. Self-worth. All right. Self-worth. I see a lot of lust here. She knows that this situation is real lusty. She could have definitely manipulated masculine into uh, leaning more towards her. Okay. She feels like you're very uppity. Like you you have self-worth. You're very confident. You're not falling for whatever little game or whatever little tricks that this uh, that she's playing. Because I'm getting she's very lusty. Look how she's seducing this man here. She ended up doing all types of tricks with masculine. <laughs> Okay. Very competitive. Like she's trying to knock us. I don't know. It gives her some type of boost. The seat, yeah. The seat and movement. So they came out together. Okay, and then we got conclusion. I feel like this is going to end in a matter of differences. Like, their, their situation is going to end because they're having a difference of opinion. I feel like this, this, this connection is literally based off of lust and lies. It's built off of, on a faulty foundation, okay? There's lots of secrets lots of secrets lots of lust okay it's it's not built on a good foundation at all it's a lot of deceit here a lot of um people wearing masks high priestess of water this is water energy pisces cancer scorpio and understanding She's trying to get an understanding of you. She wants to get a peek inside of like how you how you really feeling. I feel like some of y'all aren't even indulging or showing her any type of, you know, showing her any type of, oh, I'm scared. You know, oh, I'm frightened. I don't feel like y'all showing her enough. Giving her enough of what she wants to feel satisfied like she did something. It's weird. That she's actually even battling like that. 
Okay, so we got the warrior. Yeah. It's like she's using you to remind herself of, of her, of who she is. I feel like this karmic lost herself in the sauce somewhere. And it's like she's using this masculine to try to build her confidence back up. And she likes to shit on people because she has gotten shitted on before. And she's using that to, you know, stepping all over people, trampling off people to make herself feel better. Because she's looking at you with all of this self-worth. And then she's looking like, you know what? I have to remind myself that I'm a warrior too. I have, to, I'm, you know, I can do things too. Yeah. And this, like I said, it's going to end very tragically because we got fragment. And then we also got letting go. Then we also got chaos. Like, I just feel like when it's time for this to end, when masculine walks away or when she decides to walk away and they decide to let this go, it's going to be real dramatic. A lot of secrets are going to come out. A lot of things that you didn't know about this, uh, your person or their connection is going to come out. And the truth is going to come out. Damn, the truth is going to come out. <laughs> the truth is going to come out. Mm -mm -mm. So tell me what else. How does this karmic feel about Divine Feminine? She over here shaking her head. She over here shaking her head. No words can do it any just justice, disappointment, and stupid move. Bounce. Leaving a situation, a person, it's time to leave, wrapping it up. So she feels like you made a stupid move for leaving the masculine. Okay. She feels like you made a stupid move for walking away or leaving the situation. Yeah, she's saying, well played. Huh? well played now i got him so she's happy that she has the masculine she feels like she played the game she played her cards right she played her role and she got the masculine and she's definitely bragging about it i'm talking about she's turned up about it. she's turned up about it like excited that you dropped the masculine you let her have this masculine and she feels like she won saying yeah well played way to go she talks bad about you online she's throwing shade and stuff online because we got the struggle is real hitting a rough patch in life frustrating frustrating situation not easy trying time set back annoyed and then we got slut shaming Expressing your sexuality, shaming, feeling judged, double standard, casual sex. Okay, so I feel like she feels like you and masculine were like casual, something casual. And this orbiting is when you're digitally observing somebody, like you're stalking. She's sitting here stalking you online. She's stalking you. She feels like you could have, you know, you're, you're, you ghosted the situation. So now she has to stalk. But I told you she's she is clapping back online. She's doing this online. She's stalking you. Looking at everything that you wear, everything that you do, everything that you say. lucky to have masculine like she feels like i'm so lucky you let him go yeah that was so stupid how you let him go gosh i got him oh thank you i finally got him all right and she's we got ratchet so she feels like you're unappealing you behave reckless um she feels like like, like you ratchet 
Because it's right under slut shaming. She feels like you're ratchet. This could be what masculine could be telling her. You know, the masculines be telling them anything that they need to hear to get what they need to get out the deal. We got in their feels and sipping tea. Caught up in your feelings and emotions. Um, and sipping tea is careful who you listen to. Listening to gossip news. So she's over here gossiping about you. Yep, she's sipping tea with her friends, sipping tea with whoever, and gossiping about you. Okay, so she she got a lot to say. She she feel a certain type of way, but the, the thing of it is, is that she feels like you made a stupid move by leaving this masculine behind, and she feels like, yeah, that it went just how it was supposed to go. I played my role, and I got the masculine. I won. Now you over here struggling and masculine saying that you was, you know, a die or whatever the case may be. She's stalking you. She is stalking you. So she feels lucky. She feels lucky that she got masculine. She feels lucky. Like, yeah, luck is on my side. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay, so we got in my feelings. Let's see. How does this karmic feel about divine feminine? She want to fight you. <laughs> She want to fight you. She legit wants to, like, fight. Like, put on some boxing gloves. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But why does she want to fight? If she feel like she got, yeah, she feel like things are getting tense between, between the two of you. Like, it's tense. It's some pressure there. It's some pressure. But she just be doing that because she be bored. She ain't got nothing else to do. And she loves drugs. She loves stroke. That's why she want to fight. Because she feels like masculine still thinks about you. Yep. Yep. Masculine still looks at you as home, as base. Okay. We got home, domesticated, and this is my happy place. Okay. So she's over here love struck. But sometimes when she get bored, she just be like, damn, I, I, come on, we want, I want to fight. I want to hit. Let's go. Things get tense. I feel like things get tense in the relationship, in the home or wherever, however that relationship is. I feel like it gets tense. Sometimes I feel like masculine could be bringing you up to her to piss her off and then she want to fight you. But she, the issue is she just sitting up here love struck. She feels like you're still attached to masculine or masculine is still attached to you. And she sometimes she even have bad dreams. Like she fear masculine walking away, um, leaving what they have for someone else that he may desire. It looks like this masculine has some type of fetish, has some type of like sex sex addiction, sex addiction addiction. Um, and she she fears that she has some type of fear wrapped around that. But it's it's just, it's the fact that she literally wants to fight. I told you she's bringing chaos. She's bringing she's she's she will actually literally want to fight. Is that serious? For her? this out tell me what else the collective needs to know about this karmic tell me what else this karmic has to say about the divine feminine tell me her true feelings of how she truly feels about the divine feminine
Mm, so she's trying to figure out. She's trying to come up with something. She's coming up with something. Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Page of Cups. Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. The Hangman and the World. Power of Pants and the Seven of Cups. She's waiting. I see her waiting. I see her plotting too. I see a lot of waiting and plotting. Waiting and plotting. Waiting and plotting. She feels like she's stuck waiting. Like she's in limbo. Waiting to see what you're going to do. You're not saying nothing. You're not saying nothing. You're not moving how she would expect you to move. You're not behaving like she expected you to behave. Um, Like as an ex. You know, sometimes the exes be bitter. Um, And you're showing unbothered um, energy. Because your energy is like, yeah, that chapter is over with. We're done. Yeah, not going back and forth. Yes, see, she feels like her masculine talked about this. And she's saying, look, I don't think she that mad about it like you thought she was going to be. Because I'm seeing you not going back and forth like you're not participating Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. It's like, yeah, I'm not, nah. What the fuck, I look like a clown? I'm not participating in that. I'm not participating in that. Why is the Knight of Wands here? I'm seeing you not even responding. You not even saying nothing. Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. What are Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah. I'm getting like you moved on. Like you, you, you literally like, okay, focus on yourself and move to one. You started a new life. She feels like you started a new life and she's sitting here stuck waiting. She's like, okay, so she don't want to fight? She don't want to, you know, argue? She don't want to debate? For what? Yeah, like she's trying to get you to take some type of action. She's trying to force you. She's trying to force you to make some type of move. She's trying to make you make some type of move. Because she said she knew you was going to fall for it. Okay, but for this oldest masculine. She feel like you was going to fall for it. Like you was going to try to check her. She was going to have some tea ready. She was going to have some receipts ready. Like it was going to be a brawl. I feel like the brawl was possibly going to be like an online back and forth. We fighting over this nigga back and forth. Or we fighting over this girl back and forth. Or we fighting over this dude back and forth. That's not even going to be the case. Why is the page of cups here? Yep. I'm here and told you told you that it's going to take some time. Somebody's relationship or marriage or something fell apart. King of Pentacles, Virgo towards Capricorn, judgment. This masculine realized that, damn, I just, this, like, the tower just hit. Everything just fell apart. Like, it just fell apart. I feel like this masculine is super duper scared, super duper worried. Uh, he's trying not to show it on his face that he's worried. But he just decided to give this karmic a chance. Because I do see that the breakup here that you and masculine could have had. 
this masculine didn't feel like the karma could keep up anyway now the three of wands is here in the past yeah she was waiting on some type of entertainment she felt like you was gonna entertain them give her something to laugh at give her something to no and it ended like it was like no no it's no who's gonna do all of that no mm -mm. i'm getting somebody back down like nah it was like nah i'm good two of wands in the future energy okay She's plotting on, she's trying to, she's working on something that's going to be exciting. Like, I'm hearing she's trying to, she's trying to come up with something that's, like, some good news. Like, something that'll make you, the frazzle you, to make you feel some type of way. I told you, Eight of Pentacles and a Nine of Swords, she's trying to ruffle your feathers. She's trying to ruffle your feathers. Okay, I do see that a commitment or a relationship completely fell apart. I see she wants you to have regrets. Okay, see your energy over here is the world. You had already ended that. Like that chapter has closed. You you on to bed. You putting your energy into something that's more valuable. Something that you're going to see more value out of. Do you close that chapter? Once that fell apart, that was your wake up call. That was your wake up call. When that fell apart. That was your wake up call. Now, the hierophant is here. It could be a Taurus. She fears that masculine is going to return back to you. That's her fear. This masculine told her that he loves you. That he still loves you. He he told her that. He just really left. He, he detached from the situation for the attention. Look at this. The Six of Wands and the Star card. This is somebody like celebrity status. Like somebody trying to get to stardom. Trying to get, you know, famous. I feel like this masculine left for the attention. This karmic was supposed to just be for the moment. Until he figured things out. And he figured, why not? Just go ahead and give her a chance. But she feels like this masculine is uh, going to return back to you. So that's why she wants to fight you. That's why she wants to she wants to do any and everything. She's tried everything else and, and nothing else has worked. Yep. And seven of cups and a three of swords. I'm hearing you he broke you broke up with him first. You broke up with him first. So what is you saying? That's what I'm hearing. That's the outcome. Like I'm hearing somebody saying that. Yeah, look. I'm here and want to give you something to talk about. Wanted to give you something to talk about. So she could break up with this masculine first. But this is just to give you something to talk about. Because if it shows that masculine broke up with her, that ain't going to look good on her end. So she's going to break up with masculine first. Maybe so she can have something to talk about. Okay? But either way it goes, this masculine feels like you're a threat in some way, shape, or form. She feels like that because this masculine has... I already told her that he is still in love with you, with the Divine Feminine. He's already expressed that. All right, so that's the message that I got, guys. I hope this message was helpful, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.